Welcome back to Soda City Live, everyone. As we continue to celebrate love today, one couple is not only sharing the secret of being married for 50 years, but they have also written a devotional guide to help others and, and couples repair and even enrich their marriage. Joining me today to share what has held them together over all of these years, Dr. Carolyn Sutton and Bishop Cardell Sutton. Thank you so much for You're coming welcome. on the show. Welcome to Soda City Live. Thank you. Thank for you. Having Thank us. you. So celebrating 50 years of marriage, I first have to ask you, how do you keep Valentine's Day fun and fresh after 50 years? Well, we do it all year <laughs> long. Oh, okay. We do it all year long. We prepare for Valentine's every day and I love him, he loves me, and we make fun of our marriage. That's great. And we have a great time enjoying each other. Tell me about how you guys met. I met him through his sister in high school. Mm -hmm. I moved here in 1970, came home from Vietnam in 1970, and was looking for someone to take out. Yeah. And I was that person Aww. that he took out because I knew his sister. Okay. Yes. Bishop, did you know she was the one from the beginning? Uh, no, no. Mm -hmm. I <laughs> returned, like you said, home from uh, Vietnam mm -hmm. and kind of was at a loss. Yeah. And I asked my sister uh, whether there's any new girls in town. <laughs> and I met her because they were playing on the same uh, ball team. Oh, and, nice. Uh, it wasn't exactly like I thought it would be, so yeah, <laughs> it turned out better. It turned out better. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. That is yeah. beautiful. Mm -hmm. So the secret, I guess it's not really a secret because you're sharing us, but educate our viewers today on mm -hmm. how do you continue to enrich your marriage? Well, number one, I accepted Christ mm -hmm. at an early um, age as far as my marriage. I got married at 20 years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, three years later, I accepted Christ. And I always say Jesus is what kept my marriage together. And without him, he was the invisible person in the marriage. Without him, we wouldn't be together today. And I know this is something different for the generations today. Mm -hmm. But when you think about baby boomers, Generation X, Y, the millennials, and then uh, Gen Z uh, is something that they, I don't know if they okay. really consider Christ in their marriage or not, You're but still two I couldn't out, be so. married without him. Yeah. And for 50 years now, March 3rd will be 50 years, and um, a nice husband, a nice friend. Um, I just think that this is all God it requires as far as a marriage. And the other thing is it's a commitment. Mm -hmm. It's not a feeling, it's a commitment. And it's a sacred vow that we took. And I honor that vow. I love that. I love to hear people speaking positive about their marriage. And you have <coughs> also written a guide, a New Life, New Heart, Jumpstart Your Marriage in 31 Days. Uh, you both are the co-authors of this devotional guide. Yes. I'll let you hold it up. Tell us a little bit more about that and what people can find inside of that guide. Well, in this guide, we uh, elaborate each day. We have not only um, uh, a scripture, mm -hmm. but we also have a solution that have worked for us. Now, I don't know what it would do for others, but we talk about marriage from the beginning in the introduction. Then we talked about what the scripture, the Bible talks about as far as marriage is concerned in Genesis, because we do know the first marriage was instituted according to Genesis 2, verses 18 through 22. Mm -hmm. So I talk about the purpose and plan for marriage in this book. And I also talk about first things first. We talked about first things first. He talks about the love nest more than I did. Mm -hmm. We talk about the invis invisible guests, which I alluded to a little earlier. And we also talking about praying together. And I let him speak more on praying together. Yeah, tell us about that, Bishop. Well, yes, uh, uh, going back to when I, when I first met Carolyn mm -hmm. and then I got married. Uh, first of all, I wanted uh, a beautiful life. I wanted a beautiful marriage. I wanted uh, a wife I could uh, depend on. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it was about family, my children, the whole the nest of that, you know, my father and mother kind of gave me those foundations. Yeah. But then after I got married, 
I found out that uh, things were different than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. But then there were certain things. Uh, she, as a young lady, but even as a wife, uh, she wanted. And out of all the things I wanted, I wanted to, uh, uh, I want a loving wife, but I wanted uh, uh, children that would be proud of their father. And as I uh, became a Christian, put God in my life, I found out if I wanted my children to be uh, proud of their father, they would want me to love their mother. Oh, yeah. And as I studied that, the balanced family, mm. if I'm going to have a balanced family, it started with me and Carol. And mm -hmm. as life grew, the demand for what my family needed came from me. You know, Carolyn could not be uh, the mother that I wanted her to be if I didn't help help her to become the wife yeah. that I wanted her to be. And as you stated, it's a commitment, it's a partnership, it's that mm -hmm. sacred vow exactly. and having that invisible exactly. third party, which mm -hmm. is Christ, in mm -hmm. your marriage. So yes. thank you so mm -hmm. much for coming on and again. Congratulations in advance Thank to you. 50 years of marriage on March 3rd. We have to wrap up in, here, up here now, but tell our viewers where they can get this devotional. Well, they can order it from Amazon. Mm -hmm. And also, I have a stop there. And uh, my information is once you Google it, it will be out there uh, on Facebook or anywhere else. If you Google my name or Bishop Cardell Sutton, it's available, of course, Amazon and um, Infinity Publishing. Well, company. congratulations on that. It looks thank amazing, you. and I would love to read it myself. So okay. thank you so much for coming You're on the welcome. show, and happy Valentine's thank Day you again much. to thank you. you. Thank you very much. And we are going to continue our Valentine's Day theme. After the break, we're going to show you how you can love on yourself in the mornings mm -hmm. with some morning exercises. We have Dondi standing by, getting ready for you to stretch. We'll be right back. <laughs> 